I'm a designer and an educator. I'm a multitasking person, and I push my students to fly through a very creative multitasking design process. But how efficient is really this multitasking? Let's consider for a while the option of monotasking. A couple of examples. <laughs> Look at that. This is my multitasking activity result. So trying to cook, answering the phone, writing SMS, and maybe uploading some pictures about this awesome barbecue. <laughs> so someone tell us the story about super taskers. So this 2% of people who are able to control multitasking environment. But what about ourselves? And what about our reality? When's the last time you really enjoy just the voice of your friend? So, this is a project I'm working on, <laughs> and this is a series of front covers to downgrade our super <laughs> hyper... <laughs> to downgrade our super hyper mobile phones into the essence of their function. Another example, have you never been to Venice? How beautiful it is to lost ourselves in this little street on the island. But our multitasking reality is pretty different and full of tons of information. So what about something like that <laughs> to rediscover our sense of adventure? I know that could sound pretty weird to speak about mono when the numbers of possibilities is so huge. But I push you to consider the option of focus on just one task, or maybe turning your digital senses totally off. <laughs> so nowadays, everyone could produce his mono product. Why not? So find your monotask spot within the multitasking world. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.